YouTube Nation, what is up? Eagles Truth here with you. Breaking news. Tony Romo most likely out against the Eagles. Wow. Wow. It's a good thing, too, to be honest with you, because uh, Dallas fans, you do not want Tony Romo playing in this game. I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm not trying to be a homer. Did you see how the Eagles played against the Bears? I know you think we shot our wad off and we got all out of our system and next week's a letdown game. It's not. It's for the division title against a team that embarrassed us. Granted, you didn't beat us like 50-3 to three or anything like that, but still, to hold us three points, we were pissed. We didn't execute right. And we've got better ever since then. This is not the same Nick Foles you're facing. This is not the same Eagles offense you're facing. And, man, we look past the Minnesota Vikings. Because I'll, I'll still say to this day we're the better team. But we look past them. They didn't have Adrian Peterson. Thought we were going to make cakewalk. And Kerry Williams, Kerry Williams said, look, it opened our eyes. It was probably the best thing for us. And you know what? Who can fucking argue with him? Like, who can argue with him now? Holy fuck. We went in there looking like world beaters. Last night, we looked like we could beat the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle. Like, we looked like we were just a force to be reckoned with. Granted, it was only one game. But we play with so much fucking intensity... It was absolutely ridiculous. The fans screaming, we want Dallas, we want Dallas. The players heard it and they want Dallas too. Tony Romo with a herniated disc does not want to play against the Eagles because we were going to pound his ass. I was confident as fuck after that, after that game. Usually, I was nervous. When, when Dallas beat the Redskins, I was a little nervous. I was, I was a little nervous because even though I knew we were the better team than the Cowboys and I knew we should win, you just never know with a, a one-game deal. Like, a win or you're in, lose, and oh well. You know, you just never know. And after that game, it pumped me up so much. I'm like, fuck it, Dallas, let's go right now. Us and you, let's go. We're waiting for you. We want you. You know, I, I, was, I was pumped up. Like, let's fucking do this. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck it. There was no sweaty palms or anything or or anything. Like, I was ready. And it sucks we have to wait a week. So, Dallas fans, you don't want Tony Romo to play. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of Eagles fans. Because, you know, superstitions and everything, they think this way. Like, oh, no, now it might be a letdown game or... No, Romo might. Romo was not going to be there to choke it away. Look, enough with all the damn Romo jokes. Look, I, I love a good Romo joke. All right, I love trashing on the Cowboys. I love it. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real. Romo has carried his team. He is a good quarterback. There's been moments where he's choked it away, but can you blame him? Think about this for a second. He is pretty much counted on to carry the team every fucking week, every fucking year. Sometimes he can't. Sometimes he can't. Of anyone on that team, the one injury that would fuck Dallas over more than any other injury was Tony Romo going down. You could put DeMarco Murray down you could have put Dez Bryant or Jason Witten down. You could have put Sean Lee, who's already been down. And granted, he is their best defensive player. And they are slightly better when he's on the field, but not better enough to really be a decent defense. Um, Tony Romo has carried that team. I can't tell you last Sunday how many times he should have been sacked. And he made someone miss and managed to throw it 20, 30 yards downfield to Witten. Or, which I still can't believe Witten is getting it done. I mean, I look on, and maybe I'm just being hypocritical and stupid. And it probably is stupidity on mine. 
I feel like I could I could guard Witten. He does not look like he's that fast. And just keeps getting it done. Just drives me crazy. Like, will someone fucking cover him? Like, seriously. <laughs> but, you know, um, I guess I could say the same thing about Brent Selleck, too. Um, you know, he's, he doesn't look all that fast. It's amazing how he gets open. But, I mean, like... That's the one injury they could not afford to have. Look, I'll admit, this game is not in the bag or anything. I'm not trying to talk like that. Um, I know Nitro Freak probably will, because <laughs> he just talks shit no matter what. He goes all out like, fuck it. If I have to eat crow, I'll eat crow. But I'm, I'm, you know, it's hate week, fuck it. And it should be hate week. But it don't feel like it's a prime time clash between two titans, does it? You know? Could the Cowboys upset us? Yeah. And quite frankly, I think it would be a pretty big upset right now. Just with the way the two teams have been playing. Granted, we, we look like shit against Minnesota. You have to think that we just overlooked them. And that was what it was. I, I do not think Minnesota is a better team. I, how can Minnesota be a better team than us? When we beat the Cardinals, we, beat the, we just destroyed the Bears. You know, beat the Lions you know, beat Green Bay, and all them teams are ahead of the Vikings and have, beat, have been beating them. You know what I mean? So, I think we just overlooked them. I mean, you look at Dallas, and their last seven weeks have not been impressive. Even, I mean, they've had four wins in seven weeks. So they're four and three over these last seven games. And even in their wins, they have not been impressive at all. They've been beating teams they should, but not by how much you would think they would. They've been losing against teams they should, and even losing against teams they should beat. Just not been impressive seven weeks. The Eagles have been hot as hell, had a slip up against Minnesota, comes back and just destroys the Bears. We're better offensively, defensively. You take Romo out. Look, it's not in the bag. Orton can he, he can get done. He's 35 and 34, I believe, in his career. So he has one more win than he has loss. Um, there was one year he threw 20 touchdowns and nine interceptions, which was decent. But he's not he's not going to go toe to toe in a high scoring shootout. If it turns into a shootout, Cowboys are toast. He's just not that type of quarterback. He's a game manager. And he's not going to pull out, pull out some of the magic that Tony Romo does every now and then. He's just not going to do it. He's pretty much a statue in the pocket. And the way that our pressure, the way that our uh, defensive line and linebackers, our, our blitzing schemes, the way uh, Billy Davis has been utilizing us in, in pressure situations has been pretty good. And if you have a statue back there, better chance they get home. Um, that kind of made me fearful a little bit of Tony Romo being able to do his little, like, step this way, spin around, and then throw up 20, 30 yards to Jason Witten or Des Bryant. Orton isn't going to do that. He's not going to do that. It. I'm very confident the Eagles win the division this week. Very confident. I don't. That doesn't mean it's in the bag. If we can lose to Minnesota, we can lose to anyone. But with the division being on the line against America's team, a heated rival, against a team that's already beat you, how could you possibly overlook them? So, with all that on the line, I, you know what I mean? I, I just, I don't see it. I don't see it. Which means we'll have a three seed and most likely face the Saints. So, get it done. We beat the Saints. We'll go on and we'll face Carolina. I can see us... I don't know if we'll be favored or anything, but I can see us hanging in there with them two teams. And then we might go to Seattle. And you know what? Anything's possible. Anything's possible. I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it, guys. Um, who knows? Even if we lost this game, even if we lost against the Cowboys, which, again, I'd be disappointed because it's the Cowboys and everything, and we didn't get the playoffs, we didn't win our division, yada, yada, yada. But you know what? The Cowboys will be one and done in the playoffs. And our 
team is trending upward. The Cowboy, the rest of the NFC East, I think, is going down. I just they're just on the downturn, I believe. Um, so this will be our division for a few years. Um, <laughs> but if even if we lost, you'd have to say it's a winning season. We went, for, we were four and twelve last year. We got nine wins so far this year. I mean, if we get ten, if we get ten wins and make it to the playoffs, that's just all the more credit goes to Chip Kelly. It's 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 unbelievable. He's had a few slip ups, especially in the Minnesota game. Didn't give Shady McCoy the the ball enough. Um, choosing not to kick off. I mean, hell, we don't kick off to Corome or whatever the fuck his name Patterson against the Minnesota Vikings, but we'll kick off to Devin Hester. What the fuck? <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> um, and it netted a good thing. There was a fumble, gave us the ball back. The first time that he got, he only got to like the nineteen yard line. Um, I think there's only one time he got. I think there was only one time he got to the thirty, or anything the whole time. So I mean, like, and that was with kicks and punts. So trust your damn coverage. It's doing good. It was doing good. So go Eagles, and it's hard to make a hate week because it's like. <laughs> I'll tell you one guy that gets a lot of hate from Philadelphia Eagles, but I've been loving him the last few weeks, and that's Stephen A. Smith from First Take. <laughs> it's just hilarious. He's, he is right when he says the Cowboys will find a way to break your heart. And this might be the beginning of it with Tony Romo going, being out. You know, maybe it's just fate. I don't know. They'll find a way <laughs> to break your heart. And the Cowboys' hearts, anyway. It doesn't break my heart. Um, again, I'll say it one more time. This game is not in the bag or anything, but as an Eagles fan, if you're not at least confident, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. Um, I was confident even with Tony Romo. You take him out. Is Orton better than Romo? I don't think he is. And especially not now, not with him not getting that many reps. I don't think he's better at all. Um, so... Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. But I'm going to go watch more NFL Network and ESPN and all that stuff because uh, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. Peace out, guys.